Hello there, today we will be building a body, arms and legs for this giant Rex helmet, which I got for Christmas, thanks to my fiance again for getting me this helmet, it is amazing, but I wanted to upscale it, create a mock with it, and what better than to make a giant Rex minifigure, especially with the Lego minifigure debuting, well, at least the new Lego minifigure debuting in the UCS Venetup ship that we got at the end of last year. So start off this year with a Rex figure and rather than spending all that money on the little minifigure scale one, I thought why not create a giant one with this helmet. So that is what we're going to be doing today. First off, I've got the rest of my Lego order here. It doesn't really warrant its own video. You can see there's a lot of white elements. They're just to restock some of my supply. White bricks have been in very, very low supply, especially recently with all my mocks taking up the white bricks. <clears throat> but I just got a few pieces that I use quite often and needed a top up. You can see there's one by two plates. There is one by four plates. I've got some rounded one by two, some slopes, some jumper plates or tiles, even some of the tops for my street lamps which have needed them for ages i think that's pretty much all the white elements and also got a quite a few of these fingers for my mechs because i've run out of these pieces as well this is really the only piece i run out of if i do end up making boba fett i have got these two pieces which actually give the angle to the body we will take a closer look at that later on but the pieces i need for today's video are four of these and two of these balls so these can all go to the side i will be putting them away after this video alongside my spare parts container which is overflowing after that giant poly bag video yesterday so be sure to check that out and now i'll just be finishing the build for rex as i've got his legs here these pieces just go inside the legs and i'm actually using the same pretty much scale to the giant lego figure the one where you can fit the actual minifigure inside the head of course you could probably mock the helmet to do the same but i'm trying not to change too much here and we will also be taking a look at this helmet because obviously you'll need to remove it off the stand at the bottom now i have done this in practice i'm gonna try to do it live here on camera but i'm really not sure how well it will go because if you try to take off this bottom piece i'm not actually sure if you can pop the bottom piece straight off but there is a few technic elements keeping this on so what we're going to do is pop off the back here and this blue plate right down here is keeping in the technic pin that pretty much holds the whole bottom together so we take off the blue plate try not to destroy the helmet too much because honestly i don't remember where half these pieces go and it is a little annoying to have to look back through the instructions so this is the tile or technic pin that we are trying to remove to free the base and you should be able to remove it with a bit of shaking or there was a way i could sort of push it through i can't really remember it now but it should slot out there we are third time lucky or something like that probably third hundred time lucky and the base just pops off and you can see the technic elements that were holding it in the first place so we can take that off i think the rest of it is pretty much good to stay on especially for the model we're using and this is a complete mock that i've sort of made up again it's based on an official lego set but the actual elements to make it look like captain rex's minifigure were all designed by me based on the minifigure we got in the UCS Veneta. So we can then put these pieces to the side or put the blue plate on top just so the technical element doesn't slide out. Maybe it still slides out. Let's put Captain Rex's plaque there. And if you ever need it for a future purpose or want to display it next to the minifigure, you've got a nice little display stand there with, of course, a printed plaque, unlike the Jurassic T Rex skull. But that's enough on that i've already moaned about it and here we have the torso and legs for captain rex so i'll just put these beads on here and it's very interesting because this is actually the mechanism that supports the legs and they're just held on by these two ball joints there is two of them so it's not as weak as you might at first assume at least hopefully it won't be and i really love how the arms are put together so this just slots in like so it's not going to be very easy so 
Perhaps to make it a bit easier, I will disassemble the leg a little bit. Although, honestly, that doesn't really seem possible either. So we're going to have to try and pop this leg in here as easy as we can. And I might have to be back with the legs on. And as you can see through this very long time lapse of me trying to get the leg in, honestly, it's a lot longer than it looks like. All I really had to do was remove the piece from in the leg and then connect them through that way. And as you can see, slot the leg back in over it, which is what I'm going to do with this one, just so you can see how easy it actually is on camera. And I suppose also how complicated I was making it. So the hardest part is getting this back out. But once you have the pieces out, all you actually have to do is make sure the Technic element is in both of these sort of hinge ball joint pieces clip them onto the leg and that is how we will be connecting our next leg this slots straight into two technic holes that are just inside and there's actually two round plates that are keeping that on and as you can see it enables them to be held in there nice and firmly and it is just like a giant mini figure so hopefully if i ever turn to 3d printing a giant mini figure this will be just as easy as building one of them but the head does clip on quite nicely up here and you can see i've had to keep the top of the torso flat not have any tiles punching out because of these elements just here but this does clip on quite nicely and if i were to stick it up a bit more than i have right here i'm sure i would have also been able to have some movement in the heads but as with most clone and stormtrooper helmets, you can't really turn them because of how bulky they are. And especially the trooper ones come down over the flat front of the torso. So here we have the built Rex, but let's take a look at him at a better angle. Here we have our giant Captain Rex minifigure. I mean, he's quite sturdy considering how many pieces have been used and how delicate he may be. There's actually one piece that I forgot to put on him just on the arm here. So I'll connect that and then show you a bit of the, I guess, detail I've put into the minifigure and a few other things he can do as just look how big he is compared to the size of my head. He's about one and a half the height of my head, which I guess you don't really know how tall that is. But of course, the helmet acts the same way. You've still got the visor that can be put down, just like the regular clones as well also have the same mechanism. But just like the Lego Big Fig, you've got the arm that can wave or even hold some blasters, which I might have to make for this character. The legs both come up and down individually with them ball joints that we installed. And he can also twist his arms, basically the same posability as a Lego figure. And... I'm sure you could even pop off the head just like a Lego figure. It's quite heavy, but it's easy to do. And I wonder if the legs come apart just as easy. I mean, we're missing one plate, but besides that, it's pretty much the same as any other Lego minifigure. So it is quite nice that now we have the Rex torso with a bit of the helmet on the top. And also the legs, a bit different connector to the regular minifigures where they have the two. but if you make multiple of these, you can definitely mix and match and even swap them about with the official Lego set. If you're not quite sure about the set that I'm referring to when I'm speaking about what I've based this minifigure scout off, then I will leave an image right here on screen to show you. And you'll probably recognize it based on the image. If not, that is still currently selling at Lego store. So you can buy it to go alongside your Rex if you do end up making it. If you want me to post my instructions on how i made this exact version do let me know i'll make another video going over the different techniques in it into more of a designer's guide and also end up putting my instructions on rebrickable because this is an amazing figure and i haven't really shown off much of the detail here but look at the arms you've got the stripe on both of the arms here of course one of the arms is just white the other one has the blue where he normally has his pauldron coming out. I couldn't really represent that given the space for the helmets without having to readjust the arm. So I've just printed a bit of blue on the top of the arms there and even got his little black ammo pouch coming down from the front. I assume that's what it is there. It's the three stripes there. Some of the 
detailing from the Lego clone torsos, including this bit going across, representing the, I guess, the gap between the armor plates. Also giving him a belt with some pockets or, again, his ammo or other things like probably some Star Wars compass. And the back is just plain white with the belt continued around. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. Of course, we had to include the printed on Karma. This is more of a molded for the Lego minifigures, as I guess the white would have been printed. But it does go 360 right across his bum and all the way round to the side, of course. His knee pads, we couldn't forget his knee pads. This had to be as detailed as I could manage. And now you can see why I bought so many different white plates and pieces at the start of the video. Because I really run out after building this Captain Rex. But I really do love this figure. It's a great helmet and the body just really does complement it and I'm sure you'll probably see this in the background of my other videos if I don't end up breaking him first. So it does secure in there quite nicely but I wouldn't recommend waving him around by his head because just how heavy this build is I mean I wouldn't begin to know how many pieces are in there. If this is up on Rebrickable, do check it out. Linked in the description below, I've got my Rebrickable page alongside my Lego ideas and also a link to Firestar where you can use my code for 10% off. But it will tell you how many pieces go in this model and you'll have to add the helmets pieces. It's a great maxi figure, I guess. It's even bigger than a maxi figure. And I really just do love this build. So if you do want the instructions, let me know. I will be more than happy to make them for you. But for now... That is all from me and Rex. I'll give a few cinematic shots at the end just to really show off the detail on this model. But I am so happy with it and I'm definitely going to do the same for Boba later this year. Anyway, that's all for me. And as always, may the bricks be with you.